Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Ben from Online Soccer Skills, and in today's video, I wanted to make another Q&A video that I think it's really gonna help you out. So, the question, and I've gotten this question a lot from players on our email newsletter, and they've been asking, Coach, I don't know how to manage all my time. I don't know how to balance school and soccer, and I can't find the time to train on my own. And this is a pretty popular question, and we've created another video about this, but I wanted to give a little bit more information and show you not only how to do it, but show you how one of my players, who is currently in one of my programs, how they're doing it. And this way you can visually see how they have their schedule set up. And what we'll do is we'll put kind of that picture on here, here in a couple minutes after I explain this. So the first thing I want you to think about is how much time do you actually have? And what I mean by that is if you go to school, let's say you go to school at eight o'clock in the morning and you're done at three o'clock, or let's say you go to school at nine and you're done at four. Most high schools are have that schedule from nine to four. So my question to you is what time are you waking up? Are you waking up right before school and you're just eating breakfast and leaving? Or are you waking up maybe 30 or 45 minutes before then? And if you are, then you're giving yourself time right there. You're buying yourself time to either do more training on your own or go run, do whatever you need to be working on at that specific time. And if you're able to buy yourself time by just waking up a little bit earlier, then that makes up a huge difference. So you have to be able to do that if you can commit yourself to that. If you're not a morning person, then you don't have to do that. You don't have to try to force yourself to wake up earlier. And I'll show you, if you're not a morning person, how to do it after school. So that's, that's one thing you gotta think about though. Are you waking up right before school and just leaving and heading out and carrying on with your day? Or are you trying to buy yourself time in the morning? So that right there is something that most kids don't ever think about. They think they wanna stay up late and sleep in late and then go to school. So the other thing you gotta think about is what time are you going to bed? Are you going to bed at 10 o'clock at night or are you going to bed at one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning? And a lot of high school kids out there and even middle school kids are going to bed super late. They're not getting enough sleep. So if you're not getting enough sleep, then it's gonna be very difficult to want to wake up earlier before school starts. But if you're staying up late all the time, then it's just gonna be natural for you to want to sleep as late as you can before school starts. So those are things that you have to think about is what time are you going to bed and trying to have a good routine, trying to have a good sleeping schedule and what time are you waking up? Those are two areas that you gotta think about when you're concentrating on trying to do more on your own and trying to set up a schedule where you can follow that so you are seeing better results than you are right now. And remember everything that we talk about everything that we believe in is all centered around what are you doing on your own? And not just that, but are you training with good players and stuff like that? So you, <clears throat> you gotta be putting yourself in the position to succeed. And sometimes you're gonna have to sacrifice things. You might have to be willing to go to bed earlier or wake up a little bit earlier. And if that's something that you can't do, then another tip that I want you to be able to do is if you're sleeping in right before uh, school starts, you go to school, then the first thing I want you to do when you get back from school is do your homework. And a lot of times kids wait an hour or two hours after school to start doing homework. And when they do that, they're spending an hour or two hours, they're just wasting time. They're watching TV, playing video games, uh, doing whatever. And you have to be able to knock it out as soon as you're done. Because I think that you could spend an hour, maybe even just 90 minutes, and knocking out all of your homework. And then, now you have all this time in the evening to be able to spend doing whatever you want. So if that's time that you wanna be able to make for yourself, then that's what I would do. And that's how I did it when I was younger. And I didn't really start to wake up earlier until I was, I think, a junior or senior in high school. So for you, you just have to pick what's gonna be the best for you. Do you want to wake up earlier or do you want to finish school, your schoolwork, and then get into your own training. But the reality is, most players, they don't do either. They're not doing it before school, and they're not doing it <clears throat> after. So you have to make the decision. And 
this is why I want to create this video. You have to make a decision for yourself. Most kids out there are going to just go with the flow during the day and they're going to let the day take them by storm. And that's just normal. That's what normal kids do. But if you're watching this video, I don't think you're a, you're an average kid. I think you're someone who wants to achieve better goals. You want to get better. Uh, you want to be the best you can be. And if that's the case, then I know you would be able to sacrifice things during the week that are blocking time for you right now. So if you're able to clear up your schedule and focus on what you want, then you can see whatever results you want. And I can give you a lot of examples of players who I've trained in the past who didn't, they, they naturally did not have any talent, but they chose to work really hard on their own and they've seen incredible results. Some of these kids have gone on to play college soccer and they were very average club soccer players, but chose to work really hard on their own when they had time, but they just followed that. They either woke up early, uh, earlier than other kids, or they just finished their homework and then they got into their training. That way, everything is very organized. So I'm gonna pull up, you'll see, I'll move over this way, you'll see there's gonna be a screenshot, a picture that pops up. Uh, but I wanted to share this picture with you because you should be able to see here how organized he is. He not only has his schedule, but he has exactly when he's gonna wake up, he has all of his goals written down, and everything is mapped out. So this becomes a lot easier if you have a set schedule that you're following. If you have a good routine, then it's simple. If you're just waking up and you don't know what you're gonna do that day, then you're not gonna get anything done. So this, is, this should serve as some motivation for you. One of our players sent me this, uh, so Tate sent me this, um, about two or three weeks ago and this showing me that hey he really wants to get better he's he already has a set schedule and he's just following it and there's really no magic behind that other than being organized and choosing that you want to become better and so I wanted to share this with you because when I saw this it made me really happy like there's other players who sent me some something similar to this uh, but this is showing me that this is working. This is working great for him. And that's something that I want you to do. If, if you feel like you're struggling with that, and trust me, a lot of players who email me, I know this is what they struggle with. They, they think that they don't have enough time to do their studying and, and working hard on their own. And the thing that you gotta do though is make sure that training on your own does not get in the way of your schoolwork. That's going to be more important. So your schoolwork needs to come first. So Remember that if you are trying to take this advice and you're not doing your schoolwork, then you're not doing what I'm saying. Like you, you have to be able to knock out your schoolwork and then get into your training. But this is why I would rather you just wake up earlier before school starts because then you don't have anything you have to worry about. You can concentrate more on your training. And that gives you kind of the sense of knowing too when you're out there by, by yourself on your own, you're gonna be knowing that hey, no one else is up right now. I'm getting that little advantage that my own teammates aren't gonna be doing, and my competition surely isn't doing. So that gives you a sense of pride knowing that, man, like I'm doing this right now, everyone else is sleeping. And that's gonna keep driving you further and further. And that's gonna keep getting you motivated throughout the rest of the season and throughout the next couple of seasons coming up because you know that you're willing to do things when other players aren't. As always, like, comment, or share this video. And if you have any questions, just let us know, but make sure you subscribe to this channel. If this is the first video that you've watched, we have hundreds of other videos now on this channel, and I really want you to subscribe because coming up, we have a consistent schedule now when we deliver these videos to you, so you don't wanna miss out. So if you subscribe, you'll stay up to date with everything that we're doing. All right, I'll talk to you next time.